In this video, we'll discuss the main options for importing your side scan data. I have opened the latest version of SonarWiz, created a project, and I'm ready to start importing. First, I'll select Post Processing, then Import, then Side Scan, and that will bring up this dialog. You'll notice that some XDF files are already loaded in this screen. That's because they were the last files I attempted to import. If all of your settings are in place, then importing is as simple as opening this dialog, selecting a file, and clicking Open. However, if this is your first time importing this data set, you'll want to double check the settings you see here. First, navigate to your files. You can use this drop down menu to tell SonarWiz which types of files to look for. Then select File Type Specific Options. This menu provides unique settings for the over a dozen file types that SonarWiz can import. Since we're importing XTF files, I'll select that file type, and I know that our sample data works well with the default settings. Once your file type specific options are set, proceed to the Advanced Side Scan Import settings. These settings primarily deal with the creation of CSF files. Every time you import side scan or sub bottom data into SonarWiz, it creates a CSF file. These files contain samples of your data, which are edited and processed instead of your original data. If you ever make an irreversible mistake in your processing, no problem. You can always re import your files and create a new CSF file. I'll set my across track sample resolution to the highest possible rating, and I'll leave my compression settings at floating point, as this allows the most possible data to be included in my CSFs. Then I'll set my sonar projection to course made good, leave the time constant for course smoothing at the default 300, and click OK. After that, I'll use the channel selector to import the low frequency channels 1 and 2. And I'll leave the coordinate system as is, because I used these files to set the approximate position for my project. If you needed to adjust this to account for non-gridded positioning data in your files, you could do so here. After those settings are all in place, click Open, and your file will import. If you like the way your file looks, you can return to the Import dialog, select the rest of your files, and import them as well. Once my files are imported correctly, I can begin adjusting my initial color palette and histogram values for all of my side scan files by clicking on Side Scan, Display, and then adjusting the color palette. If I want to manually adjust the histogram values, I just need to set the scale mode to manual and then click the ellipses to drag and drop the min and max values. Keeping in mind that more gain adjustments can be applied later, I'll get my files to a good ballpark color display and then I'm ready for the next step in the post-processing workflow. Thanks for watching.